President Umingagwa has stated that Zimbabweans are the main focus of the ruling ZANU-PF party because it keeps its promises and that they should reject violent tactics from dissidents who are determined to further foreign agendas and who are now rejecting the will of the people as freely expressed in the August harmonized elections. Speaking yesterday at the 370th Ordinary Session of the Politburo at the ZANU-PF headquarters in Harare, President Umingagwa said that certain opposition groups supported by Western countries that illegally sanctioned Zimbabwe, were unable to accept ZANU-PF's victory and had plans to wreak havoc on the nation. Much to the dismay of Western nations funding the opposition, ZANU-PF won the elections on August 23 by a wide margin. After losing the elections, the opposition and those in their employ are attempting to spread chaos around the nation in the name of free speech but law enforcement is vigilant and will not allow that to occur. It is regrettable that some members of the political establishment in our nation continue to refuse that the elections have ended. I urge the citizens of our wonderful nation to oppose those who are devoted to furthering foreign agendas. Our ZANU-PF government would never permit ungrateful people to wreak havoc in our country that values peace. We continue to be watchful and aware of all schemes. President Umningagwa stated, The Politburo and the party leadership in general are advised to be resolute and continue encouraging adherence to the correct line of the party across all structures, in spite of the sideshows. He declared, ZANU-PF is committed to raising Zimbabwean standards of living in order to realize Vision 2030, which calls for the country to have an upper-middle-class economy. We have called our party's 20th National People's Conference and our first priority is the people of Zimbabwe. Hence, we keep moving forward unstoppably in our mission to uplift a great number of our people from poverty into affluence, leaving no one behind. President Umningagwa declared, Our revolutionary transformation is irreversible and success is assured. Zimbabwe will commemorate SADC Anti-Sanctions Day today, which is being conducted under the theme Harnessing the Young for Rapid Socio-Economic Development in the Battle Against Sanctions, together with the rest of the progressive world. Also, the President informed the Politburo yesterday that Zimbabwe should immediately eliminate the economic sanctions that were placed on the country in response to its land reform program since they are unlawful. President Umningagwa expressed his gratitude to SADC for their unwavering support of Anti-Sanctions Solidarity Day since the 39th SADC Summit which took place in Tanzania in 2019. The 20th ZANU-PF National People's Conference, which will be formally launched by the President, who is also the organization's first secretary, on Friday in Gweru, Midlands Province, is scheduled to begin during the ordinary session of the Politburo. Towards Vision 2030 through devolution, industrialization, and modernization, is the subject that will guide the conference. According to President Umingagwa, the theme is relevant and needs to encourage the party to reevaluate its plans and programs in order to quickly realize Vision 2030. Therefore, the 20th National People's Conference cannot proceed as normal. Instead, it must produce high-quality policy recommendations and guidance for the internal party structures as well as government structures. In order to allow for more thorough insights and complete resolutions, I anticipate that this theme has been shared with all party structures and other stakeholders. He stated, ZANU-PF upholds constitutionalism, protocols, and regulations. We are an orderly and disciplined party. The necessary foundation and direction must come from our demonstrated organizational capability as we finalize preparations to conduct a successful 20th National People's Conference. The conference needs to assess how well policies and programs are being implemented in order to maintain our nation's steady track of socioeconomic growth. I hope that all party departments will prioritize self-improvement in keeping with the directives found in our party constitution. In order to prepare for the national conference, President Umingagwa praised party structures in every province for holding their interdistrict and provincial conferences. In reference to the upcoming by-elections in the provinces of Matabeliland North, 
Midlands, Mashinal and West, Masvingo, Bulawayo, and Harare, he praised the current campaign processes. The Makoni District Local Authority by-election was just won by ZANU PF. I extend my congratulations to the Manicaland provincial leadership as a whole for our party's resounding win in the local authority by-election in Makoni District. The victory for ZANU PF has demonstrated that. As the only party capable of bringing about development and an improved standard of living for the vast majority of the populace, our mass revolutionary party continues to enjoy support in our grassroots areas. We express our gratitude to our people for their steadfast backing of our enormous party, President Umingagwa remarked. With the party's unparalleled mobilization skills, the people-centered results we always provide and our culture of selflessly serving our people must see us triumphantly win additional upcoming by-elections. We must never waver in the convictions, principles, sense of value, and self-belief that are now synonymous with our massive mass party, ZANU-PF. We are guided by our national development philosophy. Nika Inovakwa, Igatangwa, Igana Maturwa, Naveen Veo slash Elizwi Lakawa, Libaswi, Likil Kulwin Gabinikazi below. As the summer cropping season draws near, President Umingagwa stated that it is imperative to guarantee that land preparations are intensified in every community. The season for summer cropping has arrived. As the People's Party, let us take the initiative and see to it that more land preparations are made in every community. For a successful summer cropping season, our people need to make the most of the timely input delivery provided by the Pfumbudza Slash and Gwasa program. Farmers in our communities shouldn't be deterred by the anticipated El Nino. Meteorological reports, early warning systems, and coordinated extension services will continue to be utilized at the government level for the benefit of our farmers, he declared. The president appealed to the party hierarchy to ensure that communities are educated and encouraged to participate in the government's continuous efforts to industrialize and modernize the economy. The internal resources, abilities, and talents that exist in Zimbabwe, our cherished motherland, serve as the foundation for this. We have to continue to be independent thinkers and doers, in charge of our own fate. He asserted that the engagement and re-engagement policy is clearly effective and producing favorable outcomes. Recently, investors from the United Kingdom, Egypt, and the Republic of Korea met with President Umingagwa to discuss a range of investment prospects. It is vitally crucial for us as a nation to continue being flexible and driven by our national interests in order to adjust and lessen the dangers associated with outside socio-economic and political shocks. As a result, we will continue to follow our win-win approach of viewing Zimbabwe as a friend to all and an enemy to none. The master-servant or parent-child strategies that certain hegemonic nations try to impose will never be accepted in our nation. We will always be proud, independent, Zimbabweans and Africans," he declared. President Umingagwa urged the party hierarchy to make sure ZANU-PF protects the nation's burgeoning unity, peace and work ethic.